Hello everyone. Um, today I, I thought I'd like to show you how you can use basically the same technique but just tweak it a little bit to give very very different looks. So the technique I'm, I'm talking about today is the one I used here where I've used part gilding flakes and part shimmer powder on the same thing. Now, each of these was done with this technique, but you can see how very, very different they, they've turned out. So there are a couple of kind of subtle differences of the way the mediums are applied for these here but then what you do with it once you've done the base layer again makes a huge difference. So the basic difference um, in the way these were made is how the gilding flakes were mixed onto this, the surface. In this one they were um, the, the 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 ink was stamped. Well, actually, it was stamped with glue. And then some gilding flakes were applied in a few places, and just tamped down a little. Then the shimmer powder was applied. In this one, which is very much more subtle, I don't know if you can see this. It's just in different lights you can see the the shimmer powder showing on that base layer. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can, maybe. It, it is really subtle. And for that one, the uh, gilding flakes were applied and then burnished before the shimmer powder was applied. So I'll just do both of them uh, to show you. This one's just as it was with the filigree um, mir miri card um, on the top. This one was um, covered with some Versamark and then Glamour Dust attached all over. The top layer I did with glue um, and that makes a very, very, very twinkly one. This one, the process I used, changed some of the gold underneath to a different a different shade altogether. Um, for this one, I used Nouveau uh, shimmer powders with the with gold um, gilding flakes. Um, I cut a few top layers in white, which you can see if you look down through. Um, stacked them, put a black top layer on and then clear emboss that to make it shiny. When I stuck the layers down onto that base piece, I then used some Nouveau Crystal Glaze and filled in all the little gaps to give it almost like a stained glass sort of effect. It looks very, very, very different from this. Okay, I'll just show you the two methods of, of adding the gilding uh, flakes and the shimmer powder. So I've die cut two of the back base layers here and I'm going to use this broad tipped Nouveau glue pen. One thing I have discovered is if you try and go over the same place twice when you are putting the glue layer on, it will put the second pass over will pull up some of the first so try and do it all in one go make sure your nib is well um, supplied with glue and then just put it over like this all over there we are there's one now I'll do the other one I haven't used this Nouveau um, glue until I bought this couple of things, and I'm I'm really I have to say I'm 
I'm impressed with it. Right, I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm going to clean up my mess. There we go. Right, now the first thing I'm going to do is to add some gilding flakes. Some people seem to think that the guild is uh, like a guild of merchants with a U in it, but gilding is from gilt, which is meaning gold, and just, just spelt G-I-L-T, gilt. So gilding is G-I-L-D-I-N-G. That's the teacher in me coming out. So I want to leave some gaps on this. So we're being a kind of a little bit gentle. There we go. Whoops, it is. Let's put a bit up there. Same on the other one. Put some and leave some. I don't need a hair on it, do we? That can go away. Thank you very much. Okay. The last time I was doing this, my little granddaughter Cleo was in the craft room with me helping. Some of you may have seen her little fingers adding a few flakes for me. She does love to come make cards whenever she comes to stay. It's so lovely. So lovely. Right, let's put a bit of that one there. I think we've got enough. That's probably enough. Right. Put the lid back on. And I'm just going to tap them down a little bit. Let me hold it down with a... Okay. Now, one of these I'm going to burnish first and the other one I'm going to put some um, shimmer powder on. Um, these are from Indigo Blue and don't forget there is um, a, a discount at the moment, 20% discount if you put the code in, this is on all their, all their products, put in the code Chris YouTube, C H R I S YouTube, all one word. Um, you'll get twenty percent off the products that you buy. So um, I think I'll do one green and one blue today. So this one, I think I will put um, the powder on first. Let's try a blue one. And how I'm going to put this, oh, this is a really turquoise blue. How I'm going to put it on is by using a very soft, fluffy brush. This is actually a perfect pearls brush. So um, here, just don't want too much. Actually, I think I'll do that on this one. I'll do the, the, the colour first on this one. Just going to... Add the colour before burnishing. It's so pretty. In some lights it looks the colour it is and at some angles it looks very gold. Okay, put the lid back on that. And now I'm going to use a scoochie and just gently burnish. And because that shimmer powder has um, covered the glue, the gilding flakes are not sticking there. They're just sticking where they've been put. Okay, see that? So that's that one. I'm just going to clean this mess because I think I might do that one green. Okay. So this one was tamped down and then the shimmer powder added. This one I'm going to burnish first. Here we go. Now you'll see that if you start to burnish 
first the excess um, flakes go into the spaces and use them up so when I use some shimmer powder let me just give this a bit of a rub with onto a piece of not too much blue it's not too bad I don't think let's try a bit of green on here see see the difference can you see those two let's see if we can come in a bit closer seem to have lost the picture on my phone camera remote let's have a look let's come in a bit closer there you see this one the gilding flakes were diffused this one they're where they landed it's, it, it just depends what you want as far as effect is concerned now to finish them off you could cut a top layer um, you could you could burnish a top layer with um, gold gilding fla flakes and then cut it out um, you could have that um, put on in the same manner as this and have it the world <laughs> as I've said before the world you love you can do whatever you like um, and you can change the look of things so I will carry on and I will make cards of some of these but you see the difference and it's just minor changes that will make a huge difference to the outcome of the image that you are that you are making um this one to me looks really quite masculine. This one is very pretty. This one is classic to me. Um, I may well use some of the um, bodies to put on. I think it does make them look finished. Obviously, I wouldn't use a white one. On, on, let me come out. You can't see what I'm doing. Uh, the bodies here. Um, it does make a difference. Um, I don't think I would probably put one on that one. I might put a jewel or something in the middle. This one I might um, put some glamour dust on to put it on. This one I probably cut a gold one. One thing I'm a bit I'm not so keen on is the fact that the um, body is attached to this back plate. Um, often the um, the body that I want to use, if anything, is with this one. If it was going to be joined anywhere I think I would have preferred it on the front plate but that's neither here nor there I can always put it on the edge of something to cut it out so there a few more ideas shimmer powders um, embossing glaze on that one um, glamour dust or twinkle whatever you care to call it on this one and two different ways of applying the, the gilding flakes and the powders so food for thought thanks for watching